Oh, 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 he got a shot, nigga. He died in the hospital before we ride hitters. Got a nine we shoot niggas at home. I'm just like, hey. As I, I just made up the last two bars. Uh, what's my broski name? Reese Young and this shit. How this is? He got a shot, nigga. He died in the hospital. Like you hear that shoal in that shit. At the same time, it hot as hell. <coughs> <coughs> Run around we shot niggas. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we ain't here to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? But who knows these two individuals might feel like that about each other? We here to talk about Ice Spicington and Mulatto Lotto. We had to talk about it because apparently, you know, well, not apparently, Lotto did drop her deluxe to like what or like dot dot question mark, which basically like what, like look, like what, like how, you know, how these New York niggas drug people always like what, mm, mm. like what, don't feel no stitch, you know what I'm saying, like you know how they be rapping, like what, like damn, -na 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 -na. you know what I'm saying, they be doing this shit. Apparently, she dissed Lotto. On her deluxe, and apparently a lot of district bad, but we're gonna cover the ice spice thing first. So let's get into it. Both How High and Butterfly Cool mention uh make mention of Lotto's hit single, put it on the floor. Let's talk about it. so Nicki Minaj and Cardi B have have long had one of the biggest rivalries in the female rap world. Hey, by the way, honestly, them niggas, I don't know why they beef, but honestly, they'll be better together than beefing. But besides that, anyways. But it seems that Ice Spice and Lotto may be gearing up to take over their thought. No, no, stop it. Anyways, um, over the past few months, the tension between the latter duo has been heating up. The 23-year-old recently uh, appeared to take aim at Lotto. Oh, she's fucking 23. I did not know that. Appeared to take aim at Lotto on Twitter for uh, taking inspiration for her style. I hate a B, B word. This is a quote YouTube, leave me alone. With no identity, Spice wrote at the time after liking a fan's a compost uh post calling out the 77 hit maker for cop copying her contemporary wait okay whatever at the time lotto didn't, didn't seem to uh be phased by all the drama instead she's been focusing her efforts on filming twerking videos to promote her own put it on the floor single as well as cardi b point me to verse Spice has been busy working on new music for the masses, spending the past week filming her deadly music video in New York. Hip hop heads were excited enough for that, but the fashionista managed to outdo herself by sharing the full deluxe cut of her Like What EP on July 22nd. So, we need to talk about it. So, the new arrival includes four new songs, two of which take aim at Lotto. Hip Hop DX reports. Okay, so on the song How High, apparently Ice Spice is now. Hey, I don't know how Ice Spice breaks down her bars, though, you know, the way she rap. I'm going to just read this shit. Now she all on the floor when I kick in the door. So, now she all on the floor when I kick in the door. How you mad I do less because you got to do more. Okay. Spice uh, ponders on the opening song How High. Later on, Butterfly Cool, she once again name drops one of Lotto's most recent hits. Where she at? On the floor. She getting money, but I'm getting more. <laughs> you know what's funny? She probably says it like that. Or okay, uh, the second one, yes. I guess. Okay, I guess. Are among the short song, uh, the short songs' catchy lyrics. The Atlanta-based rhymer doesn't seem to have responded to Spice yet. Eh. Like. I personally don't know why why they're beefing. We heard that shit on lot. I forgot whose song it was where it's like the, the label's trying to make a clone of me or whatever Lotto was saying. And we was like, oh, she talked about Ice Spice. So I don't think they necessarily have a beef. They might not fuck with each other. Maybe it's label games they playing. You know, they might not have beef, but they know it's a record slash or they really don't fuck with each other. But it really doesn't make sense why they don't like each other. But they I digress. Anyways, we're here to take uh, read what Lotto has done. So Lotto may have taken more shots at Nick. Oh, at Nicky. Sorry, at Nick. But hey, we talked about fucking uh, her local thing with Ice Spice. We'll talk about it here. So I don't want to read all of this because there was like a phone call or whatever. But anyways, 
Yeah, so last year, Nikki brought up Lotto in an online debate about whether or not her song freaking... Oh, okay, so it, okay. So if you don't know how the beef initially started, it was over the Grammy thing. Um, Lotto had a song with Mariah Carey, that, and Nikki had a song, uh, Super Freaky Girl, and they were... I don't, they were in different categories or the same category, but she's like, yo, that song's not hip-hop, why is that song in this category? Because it's unfair for her to go against that song, right? Because it's not a proper hip-hop song, which I thought Nicki was right, you know what I'm saying? But then it sprawled over, there was like leaked phone calls, and they were just dissing each other, and it was just like, fun. I don't know why the fuck both of y'all niggas beefing, we all know a lot of these girls take influence off Nicki. I don't give a fuck. Even Cardi B probably took some influence off Nicki Minaj. Nicki been doing that shit. That's queen. Regardless if you fuck with Nicki or not. See, you never hear a shorty. Like, even besides Remy Ma, because they was going back and forth. Besides, um, yeah, but, like, you never hear none of the girls. Like, you can't discredit Nicki, because Nicki been running this shit. You can hear Nicki Minaj all you want, but for hip-hop, like, especially women rap she been running that shit you gotta put respect on her name regardless at the end of the day regardless but anyways with that being said they had their little back and forth and now we here to talk about it you know cardi b and nikki ain't been fucking with each other so it is what it is but yeah we're gonna we're gonna dive into it i'm gonna skip some parts because i don't want to reiterate it anyways lotto debuted her new song put it on the floor at coachella many interpreted it as a Nicki Minaj's, many interpret the she thought that I would kiss her ass. She ain't took her maze as a shot at Nick. Oh yeah, I remember when it first dropped. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about the head sneeze. Sorry, I apologize. But anyways. So over the weekend at Rolling Now Lotto gave, gave fans even more reasons to believe in the diss track theory according to double xl she made a pretty obvious gesture while singing the lyrics that spanned so much fan suspicion the gesture drew on long-standing rumors that nick minaj is a cocaine you oh 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 okay okay she's been unspecific in clarifying what the lyrics were actually designated to reference but this new gesture will only cause more speculation among fans the alleged diss wasn't the only reason people were uh, talking about uh, Lotto's Rolling Loud performance. She also had a controversial moment with a fan. The incident followed a phone being thrown at her on stage during the performance. It came just a few weeks after she warned fans not to throw anything at her during a different performance. Since a viral moment where pop singer Ava Max was hit in the face with a phone last month, it, it's become an increasingly common annoyance for artists. One person who has already chosen to side in the Lotto and Nikki feud is Ice Spice. She's allegedly collaborated with Nikki for a pair of top 10 hits so far this year. Over the weekend, she released the deluxe. Okay, so yeah, you're talking about Ice Spice. Shit. Yeah, so again, it's not surprising she's dissing Nikki. And I remember when that verse did came out, I thought she was throwing shade at Nikki. So I'm not even surprised about that. All I really got to say, hey, listen, Cardi B and Nikki, they got their beef. It is what it is. Them two, they, ooh, sorry, them two got to work it out. I don't really understand the Nikki and Cardi, uh, Lotto beef. Because I feel like they could have worked it out. It wasn't that serious. I understand uh, a lot of those labels trying to work her. They think she's next up. They're trying to put her in position. And they're trying to work her records. You know, Grammy nomination, especially for a young artist as well. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? She's doing her thing. I can't be mad at her team for putting her in position. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time with this Nicki thing, I, I don't know. Like, there just could have been more communication. I don't get it. But again... Now, I swear, I don't really think she chose. Maybe she did choose the same. Like I said, all these women, like, there's influence from Nikki. Like, all of them. All the girls coming up. You can say what you want, bro. There's some Nikki influence, bro. But besides all that, like, I'm just confused, bro. I don't know why these niggas is beefing. Like I said, the labels could make Lotto and Ice Spice beef. I don't think it's that serious. And the Nikki shit, bro. Nikki, not a bully. In certain like certain situations, you could say Nikki be bullying people, but like in a lot of situations, I feel like she was right. You know what I'm saying? And in in the Grammy thing, now how they went about it later after that, no. But the Cardi B situation, I, I don't know. 
Them two niggas gotta sit down. I don't know what it is. Them two niggas gotta sit down. And as for Ice Spice and Lauder, it might just be some label shit. Or they just generally don't fuck with you. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because I could see Cardi B collabing with Ice Spice. But I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But hey, this is not a surprise. Hey, the woman is back at it. They beefing. We're gonna see what's happening. Hey. And they are successful, so I can't be mad at it. Especially Ice Spice, bro. We gotta honestly, you gotta tip your kick to Ice Spice. Because when she first came out, we was like, okay, whatever, cool. But she doing her thing. You got, yeah, yeah, you gotta give it to Shorty at the end of the day. You really gotta give it to her. She doing her thing. But besides all that, hey, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood, K8 Sun Alpha today. The black TJ there while they're doing this thing. You already know, last scrap of people, y'all, people grow. I have some other videos for y'all to check out. Check out the links in the description and comment, all that good stuff. But yeah, the black TJ there while they're doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe. You trying to hit a little bit more though. You remember, I'm gone. Snap, zoom, peace, shout out, guy. Aight.